to everyone at Nexus. And guess what, guys? Men in Black 3 is coming out this weekend. And of course, as you know, with JBG, we like to be on top of all the media stuff. We're going to be checking that out. And we figured, hey, since it's going to be Men in Black 3 coming out and everyone's been hyped and, you know, we're hearing about this maybe the most expensive movie of all time and blah, 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 yada, yada. Figured, let's do Men in Black Week. And so I'm doing a Men in Black Week for you guys. Figured, got the movies on Blu ray, got the, the brand new Men in Black games. Let's do a couple videos on those and let you know what you think. And the first thing we're going to hit up, as you can clearly tell here, is we're doing Men in Black 1. So, um, I, you know, I'll give you a, a general premise of the movie. I imagine most of you guys know about it. Of course, if you guys don't know, Will Smith plays Jane, uh, Detective James Edwards, who, um, and Tommy Lee Jones plays Agent K. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones recruits uh, uh, James Edwards, Will Smith, of course, obviously, into the ranks of Men in Black. He becomes Agent J, um, and they have to stop this whole, like, big uh, invasion that's coming up over um, a big kerfuffle over the galaxy and what's happened with this this galaxy and you know i don't want to give away too much you guys should know most of this stuff already and really i'm not here to talk about um the movie in itself it's more about watching it on the blu-ray the blu-ray experience altogether. um the first thing i'll talk about is the visuals in the movie itself and the visuals are good they did a nice clean up job um i felt they could have done a little bit more and it could have been a little bit better now i've actually uh, bought this blu-ray i got it a, a while ago um from maybe close to a year ago or so um, whereas Men in Black 2 just came out recently on Blu-ray. Um, but, you know, this one I've had for a little while. And, and, it, and it shows it that, although I put it together, I didn't clean up the CGI well enough. So when you look at the CGI, it does look out of place for sure. Um, you know, you look at um, the movie itself. And, for example, me and uh, Pat Tony, we were watching the movie at the beginning. And we noticed that in the back you can see the soundstage. You can see the actual walls of the soundstage and the support beams and things like that. It was interesting to see that stuff. But, at the same time... Men in Black was always kind of campy, and it kind of adds to the campiness and the uh, goofy, B-movie, cheeseball sort of stuff. So I didn't mind it too much, it didn't take away from the movie, but you can see the age in the movie itself, um, and the CGI as well. Sound-wise, I actually wasn't impressed at all. Um, you know, I have a pretty decent surround sound system, uh, you know, nothing amazingly fancy, but it gets a job done. And, um, you know, I know it plays volume at a good a good pace, and every movie's like, oh, I like, I like loud noise, you know, and it's normally quite loud. However, I found I had to really crank this one up to get the same effect. I don't know what they didn't do in the transfer that didn't actually, um, you don't really hear the volume. Like, I've, I've played over, I think this is like, what, 97, 99? And I've, I've actually um, watched older movies that they've cleaned up even better. And, and I know this one had a very large budget. I think it was like 90 million, 100 million at the time uh, when it came out, like, what was it, 97, 99, whatever. So, um, you know, it had a really large budget, and so I know the sound is there. I remember seeing it in theaters. I just don't know what happened in this transfer that you don't get that. So, you know, overall, it's still good to revisit, um, but I found the Blu-ray experience not quite up to par. Uh, special feature-wise was really nice, guys. Give me one second here. I'll show you something. Let's go. Uh, oh, sorry. My, my bad, guys. Here, I'll just pop that back up for a second. Meantime, I'll tell you what we got. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. My bad. Anyways, special feature-wise, there's actually a lot on this disc, which was really nice. Um, well, we gotta wait for all the, uh, you know, the yeah, warning before I can get back in the menu. Any case, um, there was a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff they had in there was from the DVD, uh, from way back when the DVD came out, uh, how many years ago? Um, and, uh, you know, you still get things like the Men in Black video, you got like, some original featurettes, some new stuff, like they had a, uh, um... Frank the Pug uh, game, they had some other games on there as well that were, you know, they were nice little novelties, nice to be in there. A couple of new commentaries and featurettes, which so again, some of the old stuff, but pretty packed overall when you look at it here. I'll show you here. So you got like your commentaries, you got another uh, uh, tri trivia game, which was alright, it wasn't amazing, but again, novelties. The Frank the Pug was was hilarious. Had, again, novelty approach, really funny up front. Um, extended scenes, that's pretty obvious. Uh, you know, again, some making of featurettes. Visual effects, uh, character animations, uh, creatures. That, that was actually a pretty nice one to see how they brought some of the creatures in. Um, because there, although there was CGI, there is a lot of puppete puppeteering in this as well, so it's nice to see. Some gallery, storyboats, scene editing, the music video. Like, there was a ton of stuff in here. And that was nice about the Blu-ray. You get some Blu-rays now, especially older movies, like, you know, 10, 12, 15 years. And you don't get a lot of stuff packed in. This had a lot of stuff for that alone. And you can pick up one of these now for 10, 12 bucks. Maybe 15 bucks in, a, in like a Best Buy Big Box or Best Buy Walmart, things like that. You can find this fairly cheap. And with Men in Black coming, 3 uh, coming out, it's nice to revisit, guys. So... At the end of the day, I would say, you know what, age notwithstanding, 
It's still a worthy purchase. There's still a lot to do on the disc. It's still nice to go back and watch the movie. I definitely say go pick this up. And uh, keep watching for um, uh, my next videos on Men in Black 2, uh, for Men in Black 3 coming out this weekend, and also on the Men in Black game that's coming out. I'm going to be uh, demoing that as well. Um, don't forget, like, uh, somewhere down there, subscribe. Leave comments, you know, let me know what you think, let me know your, how you feel about it. What do you guys like about Men in Black? Are you guys excited to see Men in Black 3? Also, at the same time too, guys, I've got a brand new website coming up here with TMPG, me, and Daddy1424, and our whole team. It's called TheMediaPurchaseGuide.com. Be watching for that soon. More details will be coming. That will be launching very, very soon. All right, guys? This is next up to TMPG. Take care and have a good one.